Alright you guys, it's Papa Echo and Papa Whiskey Foxtrot trying to show you a little bit about the Whiskey 8 Tango Echo Echo and uh, Kilo 2 Zulu India Alpha Antenna Analyzer um, You can see here on the left side the, uh, the board I, uh, I use It's modified quite a bit You can see the buck converter is missing but it's only just because I uh, wanted to use the unit from uh, 5 volts and not a higher voltage. I like to use a phone power bank to uh, power the device. <coughs> so I, uh, I lost, lost the buck converter and uh, made a few jumpers over here. You can also see a jumper wire here bridging uh, diode 5 and 6. That is used to uh, power the um, uh, DDS board from 5 volts. People say that it is necessary to do that if you have the, uh, the AD9851 uh, 70 megahertz um, DDS chip uh, on that board. Um, the board is a little bit tricky with that chip. The uh, chips uh, that are around are not all functioning properly so there's a big chance if you buy a very cheap one it will not function uh, like it should. Okay, um, that about these uh, uh, power modifications. I also have some modifications here around the uh, operational amplifier. These are quite important to get a good reading. Um, I uh, changed here to an MCP uh, 602 uh, because I thought it would be uh, a bit better. Um, but the, the biggest uh, improvement here is uh, these two resistors. I removed the resistors and placed diodes in place. The same type of diodes as the ones here used in the bridge. And these resistors are changed to uh, 100 kilo ohms. And that's quite an important bit of the modification. Um, what I also did was here the uh, MMIC is uh, changed to an uh, Echo Radio Alpha 3 Era 3 Mimic. It uh, makes a bit uh, more signal which is very useful for our uh, measuring bridge. And you should change this resistor. You can see it's still 10 ohms, but 18 ohms is a uh, safer value. Okay, so that's what we uh, have to change here on this board to get a good reading uh, with these parts. Um, here on the DDS board there is also a small trick. The filter on the board is matched to around 140 ohms, uh, which is not um, the load it gets here from the... MIC. It's 50 ohms, so it will not properly work um, <coughs> with the uh, the 200 ohms the filter is matched to, or around 140 ohms actually. Um, what I did was remove the 200 ohm resistor here. I just moved it slightly over so it's not uh, parallel to the output of the uh, of the filter. And here you can see uh, on C7 I have a 82 ohm resistor in series. So that is to try and match the input of the MMAC to the filter. So that's what I did over there. It's all uh, described in uh, some documents so that can help you also with some uh, schematics with it. Okay, we're gonna fire it up to see what it does. We have a very nice uh, new uh, piece of software that is uh, written by uh, by John Whiskey Alpha 2 Foxtrot Zulu Whiskey and it works really very nice um, I have not boxed my uh, my uh, antenna analyzer yet so it sound, looks a bit strange maybe but and also here you can see my testing resistors for the uh, standing wave ratios to be uh, sure we have uh, correct values okay trying to move over a little bit so the light does not hit the display when we start it up we get this, we get band selection we can move around to select the band we want I like to use custom to see to show what it can do ok and it sets a lower scan limit which you can change and you notice the indicator here below the first zero, you can move that around using a push button, an additional button and also if you set the upper scan limit which is now 55 megahertz you can also move that um, indicator again to change that frequency <coughs> okay let's see now we get to the uh, main uh, screen we have an analyst menu, uh, a few save menu and a maintenance menu 
if we uh, first go into the analyst menu we can see a single scan a repeat scans frequency change band set limits and back again to the main menu okay the single scan the name already says it makes a single scan over the chosen frequency you can see a very flat line and when I now try to turn the dial we see a red indicator and this shows us in the top of the screen the frequency where we are at and it also shows the standing wave ratio I think this is a very nice feature if you made a sweep you can see on which frequency or what as a standing wave ratio you have without having to stare at the lines on the on the screen okay um, when we go back again after a push you can see repeat scans just quite a bit the same very nice if you're tuning your antenna or something like that you can choose a repeat of several times like 10 or 100 or maybe even change the code a bit to get some more if you like that here on frequency you can select the frequency it will uh, scan on you can over measure on you can change the frequency again um, and also the indicator can be moved again with the push button a push gets you back second push in this case to the analyst menu menu okay from here you can uh, can also change the band to uh, get back actually at the starting of the uh, the program which you did see by choosing bands and you can set the limits okay back to main menu we have few save if you scanned like we did just before you can push save scan it will save the file automatically and give it a new sequence number <coughs> and the fun thing is after you uh, saved it and you want to view it back you can say view plot you can select the file you just saved and then you get the same screen again if you turn the encoder again you get the same red bar showing the standing wave ratio and the frequency on the top of the screen okay I use the 100 ohm resistor so you can see the standing wave ratio is around 2 <coughs> and it's a, a fairly flat line okay some other functions overlay we already had it in the first version of the software a very nice one if you were uh, uh, looking for differences between two situations you can uh, pick an overlay uh, from a, a previous scan and scan uh, this, the, the, the latest scan you made or something like that so if you do not have the chance to look at the display with the um, repeated scans this is a very nice feature view table give you uh, standing wave ratios at certain frequencies in a, in a table a plot to serial uh, sends the uh, the save plot to the serial bus uh, quite the same like the debugging function uh, can uh, can do for you to send data over to the serial port of a computer few means I'm just gonna push it shows us the uh, the minimums we uh, we found on the several bands you can here see I uh, used a 500 ohm resistor should indicate 10 it's around 9 for the standing wave ratio so not quite perfect but you can see here on 80 meters I used a uh, um, 250 ohm resistor it very nicely indicates a standing wave ratio of 5 and here I used uh, a, a resistor that should give me a 3 it's 3.07 so it's very close um, on here you can see a 100 ohm resistor indicating uh, just about a standing wave ratio of 2 and here you can see a lower value this should be 1.5 it actually was around 1.44 but it shows the lowest value which was at the start of the sweep so it's a little bit low and also this one the 1.2 shows 1.14 normally in the sweep so the lower values are a little bit off a little bit too positive but I think they're really very close okay we're gonna sh go back again see the last menu we have maintenance okay uh, here we can delete the file we uh, created which is on the uh, SD card the saving I did means you do have to have a micro SD card inserted in the display 
you can delete all files and you can receive uh, you reset the sequence number before you do that you really have to delete all the files because otherwise you cannot reset the sequence number okay the minimum view you set uh, can also be cleared it saves the last uh, scan on that certain band but you can also clear everything here and you can uh, erase the uh, AEPROM uh, data or send the data to the serial port um, before you uh, write uh, or use this software it might be very important to have that uh, AEPROM erased because uh, it uses uh, the same uh, spots the original um, software did but it uses it for, uh, for other functions so there may be some weird actions if you have not erased the uh, AA prom and installed this software okay finally we see amounts uh, the uh, for the for the micro SD card if you fired up the device and forgot to put in the card you can put it in afterwards and press mount the SD and it will mount the SD card okay that was pretty much uh, a small overview for uh, this antenna analyzer I think I already showed you these. These are my testing resistors. One 100 ohm uh, resistor is now in place here for the uh, standing wave ratio of 2. But I also have uh, two 100 ohm resistors to get a uh, perfect uh, standing wave ratio of 1. Uh, two parallel 120 ohms to get 60 ohms. Uh, two uh, parallel 150 ohms to get 75 ohms for the 1.5 standing wave ratio. And also for the larger values I uh, made this. It's uh, very important to keep your uh, leads short. This is a very nice way to test things. Okay, I hope I showed you some nice info about this antenna analyzer. A very nice project with uh, very nice software at this moment. It was a version 3 software uh, version uh, that I showed you. Okay, thanks a lot guys for watching this video and I uh, hope to meet you sometime uh, somewhere in the band. 73!